the exam question now for us all is Ukraine has the will to win. It is taking the initiative on the battlefield in the way that we've seen in recent uh, offensive. And it has a huge stock of willing and determined citizen manpower. What it needs from the West is is money. Uh, that's about six billion dollars a month to pay for the economy. Uh, and I guess about uh, 30 to 40 billion dollars a year in military aid. So um, it's quite a big bill, but it's much, much cheaper than a war between NATO and Russia. So the West has to provide money, uh, weapons and ammunition, no longer from um, the shelves of our uh, armed forces in the West, but by mobilizing industry. That will take some time and there will be a cost to it. And providing training and providing humanitarian support to the 17 million Ukrainians who've been uh, displaced. Um, and continuing to bear down on Russia strategically through uh, sanctions and, uh, and now I think uh, deepening sanctions. And finally, making it absolutely clear to Russia that uh, when they lose on the battlefield uh, next year, which is what we're all trying to do, that any thought that they could try and reverse that defeat by resorting to small nuclear weapons or chemical weapons would be a catastrophic mistake for Russia. So don't do it. From a Ukrainian perspective, what they would expect is uh, NATO and the West to really double down on how they, they bear on Russia. And some of that is military. That's about deterrence across the wider alliance area. And most of that is about politics, diplomacy, economic sanctions. It's essentially casting Russia uh, it, uh, away from, from any sort of place in the international community to make it an isolated pariah state for as long as it takes, a generation if necessary, as a consequence of what they are have done in Ukraine and provide, should they do it by the use of nuclear weapons with all the peril that comes with that. And we should understand that right here, right now, the Russian military threat to NATO is weaker than it has been for 10 years, despite Russian military modernization, because they are consuming their military on the hugely unsuccessful and, and frankly, incompetent campaign less for brutality uh, in 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 ukraine so even the baltic states would accept that the direct military threat to them today is actually less but it will come back and when russia loses in ukraine and it will uh, and reforms its military and remains bitter and, and angry if that's the path that russia chooses to take then nato will have to aim off for a steeper Russian military threat in the years to come. And that's why, you know, the, the alliance is playing a longer term game.